today is another edition of Aleph as usual, but I'm doing something very nice today outside my niche or my norm. I don't do this only, but I want to just try and express myself with my friends. So today we are shooting with everyone here. I have introduced them to themselves to the house one after the other. What's your name and what's your name? How are you doing today? Ladies first. Ladies, yeah, that's true, ladies first. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Paris and I'm glad to be here. Yes, thank you. Just Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Alice. I am glad to be in the set today and we are having an amazing talk. Enjoy. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> um, actually, my name is Ellison and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's nice meeting my friends. Huh? Pleasure to my. All right, my name is Kamaslai. We all know you. <laughs> <laughs> the man in the building. My name is Kamaslai from Ghana and, yeah. and I'm here for my brother Alex. This is a very, very important topic, you see, and I feel it's something that we should actually work on. That's why we have to talk about this. So I bring more minds on board so we could just exchange our views to you guys. So like Paris, um, we have some little questions from you there. So yeah. what's your feel? You have your own opinion. I have my own opinion. Share the opinion. So what do you think about this topic exactly from your own end? So today it's a hard topic, but we are going to make sure that we expand on what we know and according to the Bible for me, mm. because I'm a Christian. So for me, sex before marriage to me, it, it is a sin and uh, I will support it with the book of um, First Corinthians 10. It says that uh, everything it is lawful but not everything is beneficial. So mm. to me, I believe that doing it before, God has given us the free will to choose what we want to do. Mm. But at the end of the day, we have to understand that choices have consequences. You mm. don't want to have sex before marriage and then you will have to deal with guilt. You will have to <laughs> compare your friend. When you get married, you'll be like, oh, she's not like Paris, I think. I don't want to be in such a state. So for me, I would... Uh, tell to people that it is a sin. So it's best to be celibate <laughs> for you, right? It is best to be. <laughs> I believe that we all have a past. If you have done it, it is okay. But when you become saved, you become a new creature. Meaning, mm. old is mm. gone and new has come. You now change. The Holy Spirit is in you. He leads you. He guides wow. you and he makes you not to go into the ways of the sin. Interesting. So, Interesting. that's all I can say. Wow. Now, for people that... In this case, where you don't, like people say that I can't express myself properly. What if the guy is not exactly what you are expecting in marriage mm -hmm. and you go into marriage now, there's Mr. A, Mrs. B, and they come together as one and they didn't really understand each other properly. And in, in marriage, yeah, sex is a problem for them. Some people want to like, I want to buy a car and then drive it. If I buy a car, I want to test drive that car before, you know, mm -hmm. driving it. So how do you debate this? Maybe I should give it to her to handle. I didn't I didn't quite understand the question, but in the first place, mm. before we came together, we had an agreement. Mm. We cannot be, go beyond friendship or courtship before we discuss it first. Mm. And in the first place, I guess that those are the first question that comes to my mind when we are dating. Because mm. I feel what, the energy that you bring for me, it will it will read me whether I want it or I don't want it. Because wow. you can proceed with a with a with a, a friendship or courtship before talking about marriage first. First, we discuss about our how are we gonna have how many kids are we gonna have, how, what kind of marriage do we want, we and then we introduce like what are the boundaries. That things comes first before we even continue in the marriage. So you won't have these things before you have already talked about this in the first place. Mm. So I see like this is the goal. If you yourself, you don't want to be serious, like you don't want to have sex, it's fine for you. And if me, I want to have sex, then we are not in the same. And that is, it will not even, uh, I would only want to meet you next time, my friend. I, wow. I feel like we will be discussing something, we are not on the same page. <laughs> what if you get into marriage and you discover that it's not good in bed? What do you do about this? There's nothing being good in bed. It depends. First, in this, in, the, in this, wait one minute, one minute, please. In this place, we are talking about bed, bed thing. First mm. of all, before even coming to bed, 
to Kamiti to date someone. How did you know that he's not good? So that means we've been previously doing some um, rehearsals there, and then you come here and you start comparing me with the, the good, yummy things you eat there. And you'll be like trying to guess. That means you have been in the game, my friend. You have been, and then you find out that it's, it's not good for me. And it depends what kind of person you're talking to. Are you mm. born again? Because mm. once you are born again, it's not only your business how he is. If he is not, that means, like she said, you are now a new born again. You experience mm. good one. I mm. experience like because God is a faithful God, will never give you the same thing that will make you enjoy. God will never bring something that uh, I don't want. He will, we, he's we, a faithful we. God. He brings you exactly <laughs> what you needed. You know, sometimes people are different. You see, I know that our mothers of the old, they have suffered a lot of things like this, whereby they can't actually walk out of the marriage because, see, you can get pregnant with just maybe one minute or two minutes. Some people don't really experience what it means. To, to actually enjoy sex and they, they, okay, the right word, orgasm, they don't experience it. Mm -hmm. And they've been suffering like this for so many years. You, you notice that some girls, they'll be like, I want to be with the bad guy. Why do you think they're running after the bad guy? Why do you think they're running after the bad guy? And they would be like, okay, because they, what they're expecting from, my, from that marriage might not be what you get when you go into it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against or before, I'm just trying to you know, ex express my own mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just want to say something about that. Like you said, like uh, some girls say that they don't want, they want to be with a uh, bad guy. That's what they call them. For me, they are not bad. It's just like they just do it out of emotion and the flesh. When the flesh drives you, you do it perfectly well because it, it, it is coming from your mind, not from your spirit. Mm. When you're living something from your your mind, like you just wanna satisfy that that, inner that most. the inner person, mm -hmm. no no the outer the fresh. You want to feel good. I don't want to feel good. When you're in the game and you want you want to be like ah, that is the guy. In fact, the guy when actually this is the good thing about when a man goes and sleep with a girl mm -hmm. and then the girl ended up telling the guy you were good or something. He feels like I made it in life. Born, I want to try to become one so he can tell me. Once the real girl tells me, he becomes that like he's now the, the, the guy of the town. You feel me? Like it's not about that. No, it's not about how game you play or how you play mm. about the game. Wow. So if it is about the game, then it is not leading to marriage. Mm. So this kind of test, testing the sex uh, here and there is mm. not leading to marriage. And I don't want to, I want to put this clear. Either we are talking about sex or we are talking marriage thing. Because it's two they are two different, yeah, 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 it's a no for it's you. It's a no for me because um, <laughs> I think morally, everybody here is being very modest. No, no, nobody no, no. wants to come out and say no. no. <laughs> morally, yes, religiously, mm. psychologically, mm. and everything, mm. it's it's wrong. Mm. And if you talk about morally, what our upbringing, I don't think any parent ever told their kids that you need mm. to explore before you marry. Mm. Mm. And you, as a man, Everybody wants to marry a virgin. <laughs> or, not who, everybody. Not everybody. Okay. 99% people, yes. people want to marry. 99% people want to marry. 99%. Yes. They want, sure? Yes. 99% of men want to marry virgins. Mm. So if you want to marry virgins, who should you virgin them down so that when it's your turn, you go and pick? Mm. So that's why for me, I, I, I have told myself that. Until I marry, I'm not doing it. That's what I'm saying. Morally, it's not there. Mm. Psychologically, if you marry somebody, like everything you were talking about over here, if you marry somebody who has tested so many men, I'm mm. talking from a man's perspective, mm -hmm. she has been with over 10 men. You can do your best. You can do all you need to do for this girl to be satisfied. But mm -hmm. in bed, psychologically, and everything, she's thinking about Musa. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Every time, most of them say their first love or whoever did it first. Mm. 
So the person will only be fantasizing about that person. They, sometimes they even mention the person's name in bed ahead. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they say they, you can be hitting mm. it and they will be mentioning Musa. My name is not Musa. Why are you calling Musa? <laughs> so you see, <laughs> it's, it's there religiously also. There is no religion in this world. I know. I can I, I, I can bet on this that no religion allows sex before marriage. Yes. Muslims mm. will not allow this. Mm. Mm. Even Muslims, I think, uh, some some religion I don't know. I'm not good when it comes to religion, but I know there are religions that even your 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 on your honeymoon they lay white bed sheet for you to go and have sex. If they don't see blood on it, it means you are not a virgin. So mm. morally, physically, religiously, whichever way, it is wrong. So if anybody is here, you are doing that. You should know that. It's, it, <laughs> that's why I've taken it upon myself that mm. I will stay celibate celibate until I marry. So <clears throat> on my side, it's not good. Now. You know, you know, this is something that is very important mm. for us to know out there. Yeah. Now, for people that, you know, this time and age, people mm -hmm. stay long before getting married. Yeah. Imagine the time. Sometimes people are still waiting till 44, mm -hmm. still not married, still mm -hmm. waiting on the Lord. Mm -hmm. What, how do you control this kind of your, your um, feelings and your urge? Mm. Because you say, I should stay. I'm not saying, please guys, don't judge me. Mm -hmm. I'm just helping no. people's mind out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see? How do they keep themselves this long? Because mm -hmm. I know of someone that said to me that I know I cannot get my wife mm -hmm. for maximum two, three months. I can't because I would fornicate. Mm. This is my this is the person's deal breaker. He has to just do what? Settle down. So how do you guys think that they manage themselves this long in pretense that okay, I won't I would stay, I'll keep myself holy and I'll keep the bed? Please. I'll use myself as an example. Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Since I'm not ready to marry. I should know that you you can only get sex when you marry. So mm -hmm. now I'm not married. What do I do? That is why I have other hobbies. I have things I need to do. You need to engage yourself. There are things you can do. I mean, we were taught in school. Our mm -hmm. parents told us when you become adolescent, when you become a teenager, mm -hmm. the hormones will start worrying you. Hey, that girl over there can't say <laughs> she's pretty. Go and do this, go and do that. The homos will tell you. But then they tell you when things like this come. A, a lot is running through my head, actually. They just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, so when it comes like that, you need to find something to do. You, you like, you are a content creator. Mm. Yours is good. You have a lot of videos to go and edit. Once you start, mm. you get yourself involved in it. It, it dries away that, uh, whatever yeah, of thoughts and you see yeah. and if you're a footballer if you are, you also do something there is always something yeah, you can do to, yeah. to drive that away so if you're asking about this book but you can ask for how long can you be doing all this that one now, is a need now I mean, it's a necessity God bless you yes it's a need how long it's a necessity so mm -hmm. if you know that's why we, we we all vary i mean your threshold is different from mine Maybe I can do it up to 30 years. You can do it up to 40 years. So if you cannot reach 40 years, get then married. find a way and get married. Get yeah. married. Mm -hmm. Yes. Apart from that, what do you want to do? <laughs> people, mm -hmm. people indulge in masturbation and stuff. Because I was, they are I was about to say this. Thank you for saying that. And is this not a sin? It's a sin. It is. It's also a sin. It's a sin. It's a sin. It's a sin. It's a sin. So how do you manage both sides? That is why. If you, uh, there's no quantification for sin. There's no measure. For no. Sin, yeah. sin, yeah. sin yeah. is sin. sin. Masturbation is a sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why do you have to stay this long mm -hmm. without not getting married or without not having sex? How do you manage this? It's very, very impossible. Yeah. We all hide behind this. No. I won't tell you to what. How do you manage yours? Maybe we've heard from you, Carmen. Mm -hmm. I want one of the girls to actually tell you how do they manage theirs? Mm, yes, how do you go out your money? Yes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> for me, I think yes is easier. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, sorry, before the girls come in. Hey, he hasn't, he hasn't spoken yes. something. Oh, maybe you guys forgot me. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I think you'll be the only one. <laughs> because I, 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 I have words to talk. Please, please, <laughs> okay. shoot. Yeah. Uh, but like you know the thing is just i uh, is about individual mm -hmm. yeah it's not uh something you just come up you said i can't do this and whereby there is someone there that is doing it mm -hmm. one that is not uh like someone that wants to get there before he gets married or she gets married mm -hmm. wants to know how the husband tests before he gets married. You understand? Mm. How big the husband is. <laughs> I like me. You how big? Like, how big? <laughs> you have how to be, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You're talking about how big. Some girls, this is the problem. Or 
They might how say, how big his thing is. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Very big. we understand. Okay. So like it's Nigeria, you have to respect it. It's about, about individuals. Like like every, every, <laughs> he said you should mention it. No, no, no. How no, big no, the no, boiler no, is. No, 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 so that's what I'm saying. Like you have you know you have when you talk about your like my sisters, they are mm. talking about this is about their religion. Mm. Mm. They are they are speaking on their own their own religion. This is every mm. every church girl, every religious girl will always want it that way. Mm. But what about those aside the aside Christians? Like how uh, uh, it's not just Christian. No religion actually. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not brother, just talking about my, my Christian. Brother. I'm just they are saying on their okay, own. Okay, okay. So you are using them based yeah, on like, their religion. So like what about those outside there? Those ladies mm. outside there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, they are there and they just want that man that can be able to take care of them. Mm-hmm. In all corners, when it comes to marriage, because this sex we are talking about, it's it's very important in marriage. Very, very. Hmm. In marriage, it's, it's, in marriage, like it's very, you very seen. important. So you, See, when you when you are coming together with your spouse, like you guys are having, you guys are dating, not yet married. These are things you need to fight, talk about, talk about. Like mm. you have to know him in and out. Mm. You understand? Because. Mm. When it comes to marriage, giving birth is very important. Yeah. Mm. So, how can you just, okay, bounce into a marriage? You've not seen your husband nakedness. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, in, no, 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 excuse me. I'm not in any side, but I'm just giving instance. You know what I'm saying? No, choose a side. Pick a side. <laughs> excuse me, I'm coming. Pick a side. No, when I'm done, you know where I'm, I'm coming from. <laughs> when I'm done, you know where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? How can you jump into a marriage? You don't know how your husband is, whether he he he, 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 he like he, he like you know, he, this is just something what you need to want? know. Like <laughs> meaning you should know maybe you should know he's capable if he's of, capable of producing a baby. So okay, in this simple is, terms, are like the so you are going to give, you, you are going to impregnate when you guys, guys no, no, when, no, no, and when they are dating, they should have sex. That is what he's that's saying, what right? Saying. Yeah. Excuse me, you're just taking the words out no, of no, me. That no, that's, that's what you're saying. No, that's that's what you're saying. You're saying no matter how you point use it, the words listen, listen, like you have. Listen, I'm not saying you should get into marriage. You say you can't, but there are people there which this is their most basic basic problem because your mom will be like. Once you are there, you're giving me a baby. Wow. So what if you go there and what you saw is not what you like, mm. but you said you are putting it that God will never give you what you don't like. Mm. Mm. You understand? This is serious. I wasn't taking it. I wasn't even going this. this no, I'm, yeah. I'm not getting but his point. Actually, no, it's no, nice. It's actually yeah. nice. Because I'm not getting his point. Mm. That you want to know size. No, excuse me. You just, you just you, your mind is on that size. That, that okay. size I said. <laughs> no. But what I'm, what I'm talking about is mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. as a man, mm-hmm. as a lady, mm-hmm. you understand? Sex. If you're going into marriage, mm-hmm. sex mm-hmm. requires a lot of things. Mm. And that is just... Because you can't be there and you say you, you don't want to give birth. No, you give birth. Some people get into marriage and they find a solution and they, okay, because of the law, they decided, okay, we are not going to have babies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is when cheating comes in. Mm. Wow. That is where breakup comes in. This is not a debate, so let, him, the, just, just, let yeah. him just make okay, his just point. Okay, just one question. Mm. Does sex determine whether you that person will be faithful? Does mm. it, is it the one that determines whether you're fertile or not? Is it the one? What does sex mean? Well, because I believe every lady God has created, either let's say fertile or infertile, they have the capability to have sex, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. They do it. Mm-hmm. They do it. It's just that let's say this one was created in a way, that, or maybe due to some other illnesses or some other complications, they are not able to give birth. Mm-hmm. But they are the fact that they are not able to give birth doesn't mean they cannot have even sex. With technology they do nowadays, it. You can you, you, you can, can you can you can, you can, you can, you can, you can even actually make this is another segment entirely <clears throat> another topic because some yeah. people get married because of babies. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. get married because of they were looking their their partners to be compatible with them. Yeah. So for different reasons. Mm-hmm. For me, mm-hmm. I have my personal reasons why I'm married. Mm-hmm. Because what are you getting into marriage and baby doesn't form? You're not getting married because of babies. And mm-hmm. because I want to be with my, my, my soulmate. So it's my, based on so you. Your... This is your own preference. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But I like where we're coming from. For some ladies, 
a lot of people see I this is my basic argument. Mm -hmm. I know that it's possible that you might go into marriage, what of you going to marriage and the man in question uses his potency is putting in uh, yeah, becoming potent mm -hmm. because uh, he can't perform. Would you leave him and quit the man? Okay. This there is was a, the that was a saying. <laughs> not, not, Excuse me, there was a saying. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when she came up with this um, topic, we were debating it at home, and I, I asked a question: <laughs> What if, at the day of your honeymoon, you find out that your husband has the big stuff, and which you, you know, the honeymoon requires you. To feel yourself, both both selves. Mm -hmm. So, when he goes in, first one, and you start crying. Mm -hmm. hmm. Second one, you start crying. Mm -hmm. You've ruined the honeymoon. There's nothing there no. to enjoy anymore. No. Oh my gosh! No. If you, on oh, first number one, did you marry me because of sex? No. Or did you marry me because you love but me? But after then long that time, means, you've been waiting. No. That means if you married me because you love me, you will be patient with me. Mm -hmm. You will accept all my flaws. Mm -hmm. And you will be, no, I am human. I'm not a supernatural. You're not a robot. Robot, right? <laughs> I do have weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, since you love me, you married me because you love me, are you patient enough to help me change? And will you wait for me as we go through this go through life the together? Yeah, as a transition to become the wife that you yes. really wanted. Because you're building me to become exactly That's like it. You. But mm. does it mean that if today, let's say, that is the honeymoon night and I feel I complain tonight. Let's not complain. It's the it's the emotion that is there that mm. day. Mm. I felt the pain. Mm. And I told you, does that mean and that I don't want you, you or I'm no, putting no. you off? It doesn't mean no. that. I still do love you. And I married you because I loved you. Sex, marriage, it's, sex is like I think it's an eye saying, on in in the, on the cake. No, it, no, it depends on who. Part of it, of yeah. marriage. Because, it's, but it's, it's not. It's, I think it's mm -hmm. makes you bond more yeah. strongly. Yeah. Yeah. It is the bond. Yeah. But yeah. before yeah. sex, the dating. Let's say for those who are wishing to get married before the sex part of it. Like Bef me. Like <laughs> like like <laughs> karma. <laughs> Let's say he chooses not to have sex, mm. but does that mean the girl he's dating, she's not enough? Or d what is sex? Is sex a determinant that this will make a good wife or not? Oh, no. That is the question. It depends on the mm. person. Yeah. Some people go into my solely for sex. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are tired of yeah. every day picking this one, picking that. I want mm. to put one woman <laughs> in the house when I come back from work. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. yeah. When I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. So... If you ask me, mm -hmm. that's why I said maybe it's based on him. That's mm -hmm. how he wants it. It's set. It's it's it's, it's number one. It's mm -hmm. priority. But if mm -hmm. he understands that there are more to it than just sex, yes. he will take his time mm -hmm. and know that okay, at the honeymoon, it's mm -hmm. not honeymoon. It's not just one day. Yes. Maybe you have a week. You have two weeks. Mm -hmm. First time you try, bola no they go. Second time you try, bola no they go. You understand that? Okay. This person, first of all, mm -hmm. she's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two, she has not been abused. People don't use her. I mean, you are the one coming to operate now. Yeah, it's it's your own now. It's your property. Mm. Mm. For me, if I you see, we all of us we don't have integrity. If you go to public toilet, mm. the way you use the mm. toilet mm. room, that's not how you use your own toilet room mm. in the house. Am I lying? Yeah. Mm. So this one is for you. You mm. have to know how to use this one. Gradually open your own pipe. To your nice. level. If you want people to open it down for you, once you go to because it's honeymoon, you just put bra. You just enter. You put bra. You just you everything just level. open down. Is that how you want it? No, <laughs> no, the, because you no, know, I'm just the, saying this based on what I expect. And you with are, the pressure, <laughs> you have to input the pressure that is convenient mm -hmm. for both of you. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Another wow. thing is, if the person explores too much, mm. the reason why I want to stay until married before I do because if. I've explored everything about you now in my what 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 what's will new, I be what's looking forward that? to? So okay, I want to ask you a question before uh -huh. you go in. Before, there was something she was trying to say before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. For you, what do you think exactly? Do you think it's something that you, it's a welcome package for you? No, for me, no. Like I can't have. Such what What if the guy in question is not up to your what you are expecting? You mm -hmm. Would you quit marriage? Once I found out, like, it's not, yeah, it's not, you're not, ex ago, you're not experiencing uh, orgasm, he's not ready to even make effort, like, nothing exactly. Before he what goes do you to do? there, hmm. I, I just loved the person. I didn't know that the act, we will do the act later. 
Ah. You stand there, the act. Like you said yes, so. <laughs> Yes, I said. I, I mean, the yeah, you said for better for worse. I remember when, yes. I, when I got born again, I became a spirit being. Okay. So I can change things in See, my atmosphere. My dear, my dear, a lot of people in the ah. church today mm-hmm. are suffering from this. Mm-hmm. See, some men don't understand what it is to to handle a woman. They don't even know what it takes. They feel that since they've experienced their own ejaculation, the lady can do what she has even finished her own. No, maybe she's about to start. He does not know, no, and he does not care. So, do, do, what do you do it, about this? You said it that before marriage, or you can study it whilst married also. Well, see, it's a two-way stream. Yeah. yeah, you see, it's possible in marriage. What of if is not going to be what see, you expect? In, what do you do? Prior to marriage, mm-hmm. there's something called counseling. <coughs> All these things we are taught. Absolutely. And even yeah. the, even yeah. even during the marriage, things will go it, things will go wrong. You still need counseling. Mm-hmm. You need to see experts. You need mm-hmm. to see people who will talk to you. Mm-hmm. So the, it doesn't mean just have sex before marriage. There are so many things you can do prior to marriage yes. and even after marriage. You mm-hmm. can do. Yeah. They say marry anything you want to do with the body now, do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. You say no, mm-hmm. I want to try first. Okay, what if you don't marry the girl after mm-hmm. you tried after everything? You, you should go and carry. Okay, How wait. many will you try? He's, he's, he's asking, yeah. what if after the marriage, mm-hmm. he's, he's not up to the task mm-hmm. to do the needful, mm-hmm. or maybe he's not that kind of person, or if maybe someone that is you, you like a touchy um, partner, mm-hmm. or maybe someone romantic, mm-hmm. he's, he's not even 1% there. You can learn. Mm. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You can learn. Nobody was born well, perfect. Well, knowing well, anything. I'm, I'm very happy at what we have in this present dispensation. Yeah. This t- topics and discussion does not happen back in the days where well, mm-hmm. in our father's time. Yes. yes. Because most of our mothers are suffering yeah, from that. Exactly. For me, the only place I have problem is maybe you will marry and the man is not potent. He cannot erect at all. I have I would have problem with that. So what but you, if what he's having an erection, every, these are things you talk about. These mm-hmm. are things. What is the courtship? What is the the council? You, you ask problems. you all these things. <laughs> Once this thing is standing up, you don't have any other reason. Once doctor confirms this guy is potent, he can give birth. He has sweater. This thing. Any other thing you can learn. Mm-hmm. If you want to turn your wife into a porn star, you can do it. If you want to turn your husband, she's your wife what at if, least. What if you, see? Know, you know the church the has of making the people's mind diverting? No, no. Then you now say maybe she's actually expressing herself in bed, and she's like, oh. She, like you are committing sin. <laughs> what is like, this? Is what yeah. it happens? No, it happens. <laughs> these are primitive. These are but, old. old. I, I think. Really? I think. No, bro. Depends. It depends. bro. It depends. Uh, well. it depends the kind of person you are. Like how you are. See, living. if I marry you, mm-hmm. and like we are saying, I marry you. I a am virgin. your property. Yes, <laughs> and I marry you a virgin, mm-hmm. and you are showing some some demon styles in bed for me. I will not say you, <laughs> you went want. to explore. Uh, it wasn't another man who did it for you. You, I married you a virgin. So mm. it means either you we read a lot, mm. you, 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 you just read or you watch a lot mm. and you are demonstrated. But if I marry you and you are not a virgin and you are doing all this demon spirit for me, I'll say, hey. Hey, you are faking it, exactly. You understand? Wow. I'm definitely. So there's, there's, I mean, I understand his, his aspect also, but that is, it's just, it's, it's a small thing. Yeah. That reason alone, mm. I mean, that's, wow. that shouldn't be enough reason wow. to. I, I think we've been able to explore a lot in mm. this new period. Mm. So for you guys, it's a no. For you, it's, it's a, a no. no. For you, it's, it's a, a no. no. For him, it's, it's a, a yes. 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 <laughs> big yes. The big yes. Because the bullet must enter. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, maybe it's not the <laughs> Yes. But for ah. people watching out there, <laughs> mm-hmm. see, these are true life stories. Yeah. Yeah. And there are events that yeah. happen in our day-to-day life. Mm-hmm. For people that are still waiting on the Lord, mm-hmm. and they, are, they don't even know when it to happen. Some people are still waiting. For me, I can't wait. This I, w- I really want And to. you say she should not have sex. And she has never experienced sex in her life. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, I, 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 I don't think know that what... There is this thing that the Bible says that my people are like they go asleep because lack of wisdom. Mm. It's not like God. It's not like every human. Uh, <coughs> all of them they don't want to do it the way we want it. Mm-hmm. Anti marriage, they really want, but lack of wisdom. Imagine me getting born by my mom and he had sex and when she was young, fourteen. Uh, for example, I'm giving an example. Mm. And then, what do you think the advice of my mom will be? Even my mom wants me get married mm-hmm. not to have sex before marriage mm-hmm. and then now because us because the children of them we lack the guidance once mm-hmm. you get it from there i'm sure you won't do it mm-hmm. because now us now now we are this jay-z mm-hmm. generation we are into 
we are going to do think without thinking about the generation we are coming to. Mm. What counseling am I going to give my kids? Yeah. Oh, I mm. did it before my learning. It is well. You can do it. Mm. No. Then okay. if we have that one in conscience, remember God is God of generation. Mm. Before he does something today, he's thinking of a 10 years generation. Mm. So that is how our mind should be. Mm-hmm. Not actually even the satisfaction you had in your home. Perfectly well. Mm. Because what we speak, uh, what is inside, the Bible says that out of your heart, your mind speaks. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So you cannot People tell me that you're going to be this kind of daddy. <laughs> you, can, you can't tell me you need this kind of mom and you're expecting me to tell my kids. That means in the, in the realm of the spirit, I'm sinning. Why? Mm. Right? Because I'm telling the, my kids, even pastor, they need to preach what they practice. So I need to guide my kids what I practice. Because when I'm telling them and I practice, it comes with authority. Mm-hmm. It's like I didn't do it, you know. You understand? I didn't do it, yes. So mm-hmm. it comes with authority, it's not like mm-hmm. I'm faking it. I met your yeah. daddy a so virgin. What, what, what if God forbid, <laughs> God happen? What if you are at the age of 50 mm-hmm. and you no boyfriend came? Nothing has happened as you expected. You didn't come, Mr. Right did not come, and you've never experienced such in life. What do you advise to mm-hmm. so go like Anna? To the temple and become a sacrifice and pray to the generations. <laughs> like like <laughs> go, go to this temple. Like Anna, Anna, Anna prayed until the Where is the location of the temple? <laughs> I know, I Maybe know, can, I know of his, I can I know, add okay, something okay. So about she goes the, at the age. temple and wait when she's already 50. Right. <laughs> she has been waiting for until she became 50. Mm-hmm. No husband, no child, mm-hmm. no, no director. So uh-huh. should keep waiting. And they, are, they are reverend fathers like that. They are fathers like that. Mm. We are not talking about reverend fathers. Fathers and sisters. People, they, and nothing <laughs> happened to them. I think we are talking about well, this. Because, you know, no, you I are expecting something and you're busy. But reverend fathers have already closed their mind on this. They have you decided. You know, I'm waiting for this 50 it's years. For what exactly is he waiting for? Is he under the guidance of the Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit can tell you, before waiting for marriage, give the, all the attention and to the Lord. Mm. So I believe there are two. And she has kind. been giving attention. Yeah, if he has Lord, given unto the Lord, 50. he doesn't have the the desire of wanting. God has put it out, I, and God uh, has put His own desire. He doesn't have a desire. So she should be like something. that. He should remain like that, my son. If you are out there, please remain like that, my Lord. Please. <laughs> Sorry, <you> guys. <laughs> wow, Maybe I this can is say, this is just kind. Just says one mm, thing. Okay. For me, I believe self control is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm, and like, even in this, sweet, sweet <laughs> and even today. in this um, generation, we yeah. still have him in us. If he lives mm. in you, he will definitely help you to conquer yeah. exactly. the temptations. Mm. Because he says mm. no temptation that has not been there, yeah. mm. and he will always provide a way out. Mm. About the age, mm. let me say something: the season and time for everything. Mm. Ladies out there, mm. let me tell you: do not just. Um, Stay there, show up, go out there, dress nicely, <laughs> meet people, <laughs> meet people, and time and season happens to them all. Do not allow when the time has really gone, that is when you're coming out. Coming out. Years old. As much as you're 25 and above, go out there, mingle with people. Do not mm. allow when the age is too much gone, that is when you want to. Because wow. even the dudes, they want to marry someone who is young and energetic mm. exactly. and someone who they feel like this is the wife of my youth. Okay. Yeah. So what I can say, age, just if you portray yourself out there and you pray to God, <laughs> he will definitely give you Mr. Right. But do not, do right not side. seclude yourself. Do not act too much holier than thou because this is what is affecting yeah. most of the yeah. people, mm-hmm. especially ladies who go to church. Some of them, they are holier than thou. <laughs> this guy wants to come to talk to me and I'm like, no, 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 I don't talk to boys. No. Time and chance are given to them all. Oh. Take advantage of the chance and know there are seasons. There are seasons to get married, to get born, to die. In the season to get married, make sure you get yourself a Mr. Right so that you don't struggle (laughs) when it's 50 years. You know, people, people, excuse me, people have different gifts and it's not where you meet your Mr. Right. This is where the person will meet. God bless you. Yeah, you understand? So like, when you're talking about they should dress up and go and meet, you are right. You understand? But how about the introverts? Those that can 
and those that are shy that they can they can't even look at the guy mm. oh i didn't I say like I go exactly and say no, man like, you know you are my guy just be in the crowds be in go to they attend events be, just go with be in conscience. church be somewhere right yeah. You cannot this just is, stay there and say This is this is interesting. I'm waiting guys. for my guys because to I come believe, here. Let me add on that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I leave this people alone. I believe they just I believe keep going and going. Yeah. They, they they are church goers. Mm. So they go to church. They, <laughs> they, they, they see the guy is up there now and they can't tell you their interest. Sometimes and church person like, will handle you, you'll be like, eh? <laughs> 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 I can hear that. <laughs> so guys, I really had a nice time with you guys. But for me, mm-hmm. I have a, a learned something new today. Mm-hmm. I have my personal opinion to this topic. Mm-hmm. But I'll just tell you guys, whatever you've learned from here, make good use of it. Mm-hmm. If you are being led, because for um Abraham, he waited for so many years. Yes. Yeah. Before his Isaac wife, came. His wife gave him Rebecca. The Isaac maid. generation. What the wife gave him is maid. Mm-hmm. You know, to actually consummate and make a seed. Yeah. But mm-hmm. God didn't. And I don't want to that say that way. That was the seed of God. Yeah, that was it was, it people's was opinion. Mm-hmm. But that same seed mm-hmm. came with the tribe of Islam to mm-hmm. And it's a great seed. Mm-hmm. So you can say it's not, but it is mm-hmm. a seed. So either ways, sometimes we have our ways of making coining our thoughts and things yeah, in a particular way. Mm-hmm. But the ways of God are quite different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the Bible, there's no place in the Bible that is written that at the, in, in Genesis that the man and the woman, Adam and Eve, was married. There was no place in the Bible that said when Adam was given, Eve was given to him. Mm-hmm. There's no place in the Bible that said this was the marriage ceremony between both of them. Mm-hmm. But it consumes her and they made babies. Mm-hmm. Either way, Jesus Christ was born to this world without sex, but it was through the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mary was a conduit to give that. So the ways of God are not the ways of man. Yeah. For some people, maybe this is their last chance mm-hmm. to actually make a baby in life. This woman would have been what? Probably a barrel of her life, or a child. Mm-hmm. It happens. Don't beat yourself when you're saying Yes. Walk out of the doors of that, of this spiritual lifestyle mm-hmm. and face the truth. I'm not convincing anybody, I'm just trying to be like, Open mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, for him, it's a yes. <laughs> for her, it's a no. no. For her, it's a no. For Camo, <laughs> it's a no. no. So, if you want to see more of these guys, you know, drop a comment below mm-hmm. and we can discuss more, more extensive sure, sure, topics sure, about sure. this. And I feel well, maybe by the next time we'll bring more robust, um, detailed information yeah. for you guys. But if you're out there, keep safe. Uh, keep safe. Stay Come blessed. Safe. Ah, subscribe, to my like. <laughs> yeah, this is my YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah. Our YouTube channel, and we are having yeah. <laughs> our YouTube channel. <laughs> <Our YouTube channels. laughs> she started as also and Paris, mm-hmm. right? Yes. She's so on YouTube. It's lucky, but I'm gonna make a new one. Yeah. But we will have more of podcast talks, things yeah. to do with beauty yeah. and life. And also, um, <laughs> nice this is Alison, um, the footballer, a professional footballer. So <laughs> one more. I just keep it cool. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.